Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Evans, and I I want to take a few minutes to reflect on healthy eating, especially with respect to kids, and tell you about a brand new organization at the University of Toronto called the Center for Child Nutrition, Health, and Development. So let's step back for a second. I, I mean, I think it's pretty clear our current nutritional system is broken at both ends of the continuum. The Food and Agriculture Organization's 2013 count revealed that approximately 850 million people are hungry, and at the other end of the continuum, 1.4 billion are overweight or obese. And there are paradoxes within. So, for example, in industrialized countries, the poorest and, and hungriest are most likely to become obese, to develop diabetes, and have strokes. Many are simply struggling to put food on the table. 8% of Canadian families and 1 million Canadian kids are food insecure. Many other families are trying their hardest, but are challenged by understanding the best way to eat and then knowing how to make that happen in the real world, all of which drives or prevents the multiple chronic diseases I see all day in my clinic. I also think the public has in many ways been poorly served by nutritional research, where too often the emphasis has been on a very narrow subject, such as one nutrient, with a very narrow population. The findings from this research can help build theories, but for the public, it can often lead to confusion and distract us from the big picture of the cascade of behaviors that make up a healthy life. The Ontario government has recently said they want to reduce the prevalence of excess weight and obesity in its children from 30 down to 10% within 10 years. And we think to realize this, our approach needs to change. The Center for Child Nutrition, Health and Development at the University of Toronto is being built to rethink this cascade and build innovative solutions to help kids and, and their families eat better a center that informs individuals and and neighborhoods as well as local and global policy, a platform that brings together research institutes like the Li Keqing Knowledge Institute at St. Michael's Hospital, the Fraser Mustard Institute for Human Development, and the Hospital for Sick Children, fusing science with care, examining food supply, as well as redesigning medical education across university departments such as nutritional sciences, pediatrics, and family medicine. To bring best practice out of academia into the community where 30% of Canadian kids are overweight or obese, contributing to a population of Canadians whose health care costs our system more than $7 billion per year. To take this macro approach, the CCNHD will need to focus on the population that promises the greatest impact, and that window is childhood. For example, we used to see brain development as a fixed process where a genetic blueprint simply unfolds. But now we see a much bigger picture where genes are certainly important, but that your brain actually physically and functionally changes what we call brain plasticity with nutrition and and experiences, which in turn provides an opportunity for an incredible return on investment down the road. To create a new platform, you need a new team that speaks to this future. So, for example, our microbiome, the trillions of microorganisms that live in our gut, mouth, skin, and and elsewhere in our bodies that help with digestion, prevent disease-causing bacteria, and can nourish our cells. Your microbiome is laid down primarily in early childhood, and the CCNHD has just awarded the Lawson Family Chair in Microbiome Nutrition Research to Dr. Alina Comelli to explore how we can program our biomes to prevent future illness. It's pretty cool. When they asked me to join the CCNHD, I said, but I'm not a superstar nutritional researcher. And they said, true. But instead of being a center that just invests in more research, Maybe we also need to invest in curating and explaining the best nutritional research to the world and make it easier for the public to understand and act on that research through YouTube, primary care, social networks, and so on. Food has a ripple effect in our society. Sure, on the one hand, towards too much and too unhealthy. But on the other hand, food brings together families, builds communities, and gives us health. The CCNHD wants to build a new platform that explores this balance, especially with respect to our kids, and tips it towards health. So thanks for listening, and we really hope you can get involved with the Center for Child Nutrition, Health, and Development.